Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we will talk about hacking technologies and how to protect yourself from internet hackers. Hackers' techniques are ever evolving, and it's more important to keep up with new threats. Hackers are usually after two things from your business, data or money. Usually they're motivated by both, as uncovering a wealth of data can help them to cash in. Compromised data can cost you a lot. The average cost of a data breach is $3.92 million as of 2020. Larger corporations aren't the only targets. 43% of breach victims were small businesses. Reputational repercussions and recovery costs from a well-executed hack could put you out of business. Let's review the three most common and dangerous hacking tools hackers use in 2020. Social engineering and phishing. Social engineering is an attempt to get you to share personal information, usually by impersonating a trusted source. Many types of social engineering bait come in the form of phishing emails, whereas a clever hacker sends you a message that looks like it's from someone you know, asking you to do something, like wire them money, or to click or download an infected attachment to see more. What you can do. Warn your employees to never give out private business information over email, to think before opening any attachments, and educate them on how to avoid email scams. Malware injecting devices. Cyber criminals can use hardware to sneak malware onto your computer. You may have heard of infected USB sticks, which can give hackers remote access to your device as soon as they're plugged into your computer. All it takes is for one person to give you a malware-ridden USB stick, and by simply plugging it into your computer, you're infected. Clever hackers are using cords now to inject malware, like USB cables and mouse cords. So, it's crucial to always think before plugging anything into a work device or into a personal device with access to work-related data. What you can do, educate yourself on physical malware injection methods and think before plugging in an unknown drive or cable. Cracking passwords. Hackers can obtain your credentials through a number of means, but commonly they do so through a practice called key logging. Through a social engineering attack, you could accidentally download software that records your keystrokes, saving your usernames and passwords as you enter them. This and other forms of spyware are malware that track your activity until a hacker has what they need to strike. And it's not just downloading you have to worry about. Attackers can deploy malware on the user's machine if they are in the environment and capture your credentials via key logging too. There are also password cracking programs that can run letter and character combinations guessing passwords in a matter of minutes, even seconds. For instance, a five-character password could have about 100 different combinations, and a savvy password cracker could run through them all in seconds. What you can do, use a password management tool, which securely houses your company credentials. These tools can often auto-generate lengthy, diverse character passwords that are difficult for hackers to brute force guess, and autofill for your employees for easy access to their tools. Consider also looking into encryption and multi-factor authentication methods to shield your data behind numerous layers of protection. Did you like this video? Please support us by subscribing to our channel.